God's power can change one person's life. And this person's life can influence many people. My name is Jen Yi. I'm from Omaha and I've been part of Christ Community for a long time. I became a Christian when I was very young and it really wasn't until seventh grade I went to Camp Rivercrest and that's when I really learned for the first time about what Jesus had done for me. And so that's when I decided to give my life to the Lord. So I went to Wayne State College. I was there for four years. Um, decided to play basketball on a scholarship. And I was a scared little freshman, didn't have any friends, didn't know anyone, and was really trying to figure out um, how to live out my faith. During my time there, I met a girl named Rachel. Rachel was very different than all the other friends I had. She really loved Jesus. We read the Bible together. We had encouraging talks together. She's really invested in my life. And so through that, I, I saw, oh wow, she has an impact on so many people. And that really made me want to impact other people as well. My name is Emilia, and uh, I met Jen at Wayne State. Uh, we went to college together. She had like a light, like it's weird, but in a joy in herself. Now I understand it, it, it's a, the joy of the Lord. I remember she always made a point to spend time with me, even if it was half an hour. She was a strong Catholic. She was an exchange student from Ecuador. And she was still trying to figure out where to go in life and what to study and um, what, what God had planned for her. She kind of knew God, um, but didn't know about the personal relationship with Him. It was just hard all around uh, at the beginning, or I will say the first five years that I uh, moved to the United States just because I, I will get homesick. And so Lynn and my other friend Rachel and I really started hanging out with Amelia and teaching her about um, what it really meant for God to really love us and to really have a relationship with us personally. I went to a um, mission trip to Mexicali. I left Friday morning, but I saw Jen and Rachel um, Thursday afternoon, and um, we were actually making plans for the next for the week after I came back. And so I left, not thinking anything. Every night at the the camp that we were staying at, there was a speaker, and I remember that he preached, and then we worship. And uh, that night I accepted um, the Lord as my Savior, and uh, I just remember the joy that I had. And two days later. Um, Jen texted me and she said, Emilia, Rachel died in a car accident. And I just, I remember saying like, what do you mean like she died? Like, no, she, no, I just talked to her on Thursday and we we're making plans. It came as a huge shock to me. I didn't know what to do, where to turn. Um, I was really sad and really questioning God, why would you take my best friend? But I knew I either had to choose whether to turn away from God or turn to, to God. And so I chose to cling to the Lord, and that's when my faith really, really grew. To look back and um, to see the impact that she had had, uh, not only in Jen, but she was getting, like, she was impacting my life. And I remember that, um, that after Rachel died, so many people came to Christ. I would definitely not be the person that I am today without Rachel's impact in my life. Without the influence, without uh, Jen praying for me, and not only praying, but actually giving me her example. I don't know where, to, uh, if I would have ever accepted uh, God. I'm thankful that God put uh, her into my life and that she was so obedient, that she didn't give up by the times that I was stubborn. We got to see Amelia come to know Jesus. Amelia is now in Omaha. She's married to a strong Christian guy. And um, it's really cool to see where she was and where she is today. I know uh, we're called to go back to Ecuador. Right now, we don't know when the exact day will be. It's the season for me to, to get prepared for my husband too, for Caleb, um, and just grow, grow in the Lord. Um, we're still praying about it, but we know God has called us there. So I don't know what else God has in store. Um, I plan on just continue to walk with Him 
continue to invest in those around me that he places in my life and um, just make his glory known in all the world. Dios puede utilizar la vida de una persona y con esa persona cambiar la vida de muchas personas más.